God created the stars and God created us. And all of God's creation always somehow coincides as well as conflicts with each other. And we coincide and conflict with the stars and with the planets and with the universe. Some people think that astrology is just mumbo jumbo and that there is not much truth to it. It's just hocus pocus. It's not real. You, you can't actually be affected by the stars. Like your personality can't possibly be affected by what position the sun was in when you were born. This has been um, something that many people have been studying, studying for centuries, uh, the stars. The stars have been proven to affect us and the moon and the sun and the planets all affect us. Much like the moon affects the tides. Anyone who knows anything about science knows that the moon is why the tides are always moving. And we are made up of mostly water, right? So... If the moon can move all that water around constantly, and that's why the tides never sit still, then that means that that's why we are struck with so much emotional turbulence. God had it all figured out, okay? He had it all figured out when he created the stars and when he created us. We are a reflection of the stars. We are a reflection of the universe. And the stars in the universe is a reflection of us. Have you ever noticed that the universe, there's like this, these little nebulas, right? These nebulas of stars and, 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 you know, space matter that look a lot like the human eye. If you really look at it, it has like this little hole like that looks like the pupil. And then there's all these little specks and lines and stuff all around it. And it looks just like a human eye. And that's it. We are like the stars and the stars are like us. Okay, we reflect each other. Okay, the curls in a woman's hair. Okay, we got all types of stuff going on. Um, just nature itself is a reflection of human beings. Look at my afro for an example. Does this not look like a tree? <laughs> Let's be real. Do I not look like a tree? Okay, the brown skin. Is this not a tree stump? And this is the green tree. Like, come on now. Um, God knew what he was doing when he created us. There is a divine creator out there. I mean, how else do you explain all the beauty? In this world but how do you explain all the ugly in the world as well well there is no beauty without ugly just like there is no light without darkness how can the light shine if there is no darkness so the planets do affect your personality it affects your moods. It affects what career you have. It affects what kind of men and women you're attracted to. It, uh, it affects your sex drive. It affects your sexual preference. It affects your relationship troubles. It reflects you, okay? So if you delve into astrology, you're delving into a map that, is, that has been created by the hands of God. God created a very, very detailed map called your birth chart for each individual okay and you have something called a sun sign which is your personality sign it's the sign that everybody goes by if you ask somebody what their sign is your moon sign is your hidden self it's your inner self okay this also the moon represents the way that you handle your moods and your emotions okay so for example if you have a gemini moon um gemini's are the twins so you handle your emotions and your moods um like two complete opposite ways. Your inner self is our opposites. Like you may seem like one person on the surface, but beneath the surface, you are either two people or multiple people. You have many personalities, okay? Um, and so you uh, also have the ability to see things from two opposite perspectives, okay? Um, also, there is your Mercury. Your Mercury rules your communication. It's the way that you communicate with people. It's the way that you think. Um, for example, um, not only am I a Sun Taurus, but I'm also a Mercury Taurus. So my personality is Taurus, and I also think and communicate like a Taurus. Okay, and what that means is is that you know Taurus is known to be very logical and very rational. So when it comes to thinking and communicating, I prefer a very straightforward approach. I prefer. Um, to just get down to business, you know, I really don't like beating around the bush. And, and if I do beat around the bush, I'm going to beat myself up about it. <laughs> also, your Mars sign rules your sex drive and, and your physical energy, right? Aries rules Mars. This is a very fiery planet, okay? So if you have 
Aries in Mars, which I do, that means that you have a lot of energy and it's not hard to get you going because Aries is the most dynamic, you know, warrior like sign. It's the most, you know, action oriented sign. So if you have Aries Mars, you, you ain't got no problem starting anything. And trust me, y'all, I don't. Um, we also have Venus, which is um, how you are in relationships, what you're attracted to in relationships. How do you express yourself when you're, when, you're, when you're in love and when you're in romantic relationships? And so my Venus is in Gemini. Um, it's funny because like I'm a Taurus and, and typically Taurus is known to be very stable. And some people think Taurus is a boring, which is like far from the truth. Taurus is so fun. Like don't be sleeping on Tauruses like that. Tauruses, we're fun. Okay. But we're also known to be very practical and we like routine and we don't like things to change too much but when it comes to relationships because I have a Gemini Venus I like excitement I love change I love variety I also can be open to being with multiple people at once because Gemini's are the twins right so this stuff gets deep it even goes into the houses which there is a house for each zodiac sign the first house is the house of aries right that's usually your way your ascendant is which is your rising sign okay and your rising sign represents how people view you in the regular world it's your facade it's the mask that you wear in the regular world it's how people see you but not necessarily who you are beneath the surface and so god created all of this okay he put people on this planet that were curious about astrology. He put people on this planet that were curious about numerology and palmistry. Palmistry also is also one of those things that is a reflection of astrology. It's crazy. The palms of our hands, right? There's uh, something called a water hand, a earth hand, a fire hand, just like the elements in astrology. And I got my palm read once and he said that I had a water hand, which means that I'm a very emotional person. It means that my soul is water, right? Which is kind of ironic because I don't have any water signs in any of my inner planets. Um, the most dominant energy for me is earth and air. But I have a water hand. And it makes sense because I always felt like I should have some water in my inner planets. But I didn't. And that's when other stuff like palmistry comes in. Okay, astrology is very, very deep and you can get information about so many different aspects of your life. But there's other things that extends that knowledge it extends the astrological um, knowledge and astrological information and palmistry does that there's many different aspects there's your headline um your heart line i can't remember this is your lifeline i believe you also have stuff in your palms that can tell you whether you're going to be famous or not or whether you're going to be successful in your career or how many kids you're going to have or if you're ever going to get married and astrology does the same thing you can find all that out in astrology you just it's just in different ways okay um, you just have to do some some digging, you know, when it comes to astrology. And you also have to do digging if you really want to understand your palms. It's it's a very, they, they kind of match up to each other in a way, you know. And a lot of times um, I've seen, uh, as far as palmistry and astrology going hand in hand, I've seen that when somebody has like a certain north node, which your north node is your sole purpose, it's the uh, path you're supposed to be going on and your south node is the past that you're supposed to be like leaving in the, the past and not really living in i've noticed that it shows in your palms too because i watch um celebrity palm reading videos yeah it's it's, the, it's a guilty pleasure of mine um by this guy named tony leggett um he uh creates these videos uh where he he's a palmist and he he's a is, that, is the word called palmist he's a palm reader and um he like makes videos reading the palms of celebrities and um i remember him saying you know stevie wonder his life path he said is all about just um like being bold and being a leader rather than a follower and i looked at his birth chart and stevie wonder has a north node um in aries you know whereas i actually have my south node in aries right and because i studied this placement because it's my placement i was aware of what that meant for stevie wonder and i love stevie wonder by the way he's also a taurus like me oh god i love him i love his voice he's just he's a legend if i ever had a chance to meet stevie wonder i would just cry pass out but um stevie wonder's north node being in aries um meant that it meant the same thing. If your North Node is in Aries, that means you're supposed to be living a life path of an Aries, which means you're supposed to be leading like an Aries. You're supposed to be taking action. You're not supposed to be following anybody else's orders and doing what anybody else wants you to do, right? And that's exactly what he said in Stevie Wonder's Palm video. It was crazy, right? 
because he said that that's his life path in his in his palm and then you look at his um his birth chart and his birth chart says the same exact thing just in some whole other other placement so that being said astrology palmistry also numerology which is your life path number um it all conflicts and coincides with each other and there has to be some type of divine creator who created all this this is this is way too detailed it's like this this beautifully detailed orchestrated um map you know that could not have been created by just one human being one human being cannot have created all this stuff and have it be able to be so parallel you know what i'm saying like the, the fact that stevie wonder's um palm matched with his astrological chart like no human being could make that so you know that it just is right and so that's what god is y'all god just is he says i am and god is god is amazing and he created astrology and if you've been feeling like you really wanted to delve into astrology, but you're scared because some people in your family say that astrology is dark magic or it's it's um, something that is forbidden in the Christian religion or is something that you shouldn't do. Um, I say try to discover what you feel you should do in your intuition. OK, and if you intuitively feel that you shouldn't be um, studying astrology, then don't study astrology. But I feel that God has spoken to me through astrology in many many different ways god speaks through the stars you know and even the slaves you know back in the day in um in you know american history um the black slaves are used to follow the stars as a way to escape from slavery you know the song follow the drinking cord that was a constellation in the sky so i'm not going to tell you what to believe in and what not to believe in god and astrology goes hand in hand god created astrology God created palmistry. God created the human beings that are interested in these things. And I say, delve into it. Delve into it. In the description box below, I will put the link to um, a couple of birth chart websites where you can put in your birth information and you can figure out what your sun sign is, your moon sign is, and all that good stuff. Trust me, it's so exciting. Like when you first get into it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, this, what is this? Oh my gosh, that's exactly like me. Oh my gosh, no wonder I keep getting into this type of situation. Oh my gosh, no wonder I'm attracted to that type of style. You know, it really shows you who you are. But at the same time, don't make astrology just a strict religion for yourself, okay? Also, just know that astrology is more of a guide for you. God put astrology on the earth for it to be a guide to, for people, but not something to control your life. Okay, I think that there's you, you still need to live life. Okay, so don't let astrology stop you from living life. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't use it as something to just completely control your life and restrict you. Okay, never. If astrology is restricting you, then that means that you're delving into it a little too much and you're kind of overindulging in it. That you should just step back a little bit. Just use astrology as a guide. That's why God put it here. God created the stars. God created the planets. And God created us. Okay? Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This was Sydney Island. That's Island with a Y. Not an S. Bye-bye, loves.